So, are you guys ready to see some really gross and old makeup? <laughs> if so, you are in the right place. So, uh, I have some makeup here. It's in this old like birch box special box that they put out at one time. Uh, and even the box has had it. It's been like stepped on or something. So the box and everything needs to go. Uh, so I think, can I zoom you guys in a little bit? We'll see how that does. Okay, so I am, I am awful at getting rid of things. I'll say that up front. So uh, I guess we'll just dive in here. So I have this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow uh, foundation and this expired in February of 2021. So not too bad. Uh, I think if I recall, I might've gotten this at like CVS and it wasn't, it didn't have that much on its uh, shelf life to begin with. Uh, I think it has an expiration date because it has a sunscreen and I think that's required when you have like SPF claims. Uh, but it's also helpful just for the overall age of the product. I wish more brands would just put some kind of expiration date based on the the date of manufacture. So get rid of that. Another L'Oreal foundation. This one, this one expired in 0221 as well, which I'm filming this in May of 2021. So that's not too bad. I have all of these Maybelline Age Rewinds. Uh, I got a variety of different shades apparently. And I think I remember when I was using this and it is at least like two years ago at this point. Uh, so especially when they have this kind of reusable sponge tip, it's just, it's kind of icky if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna get rid of those. Uh, I have some Becca products that as we know, Becca is going out of business and I don't know. I've had these for a while, so I thought I would just go ahead and get rid of them. Uh, let's see, I have some Maybelline color tattoos. These are like cream liquid shadows and this product has been discontinued, so there's really no point in holding on to them. Uh, this is a similar type of product, but at a much higher price point. This is from Giorgio Armani. Uh, I looked it up and it's been years since I bought this and they've also changed the packaging. I don't know if they've changed the formula, but I haven't been using it anyway, so I might as well get rid of it. Uh, this is the eye primer by Collab. And I don't know if you'll be able to hear but it's like hard and liquidy, like it's separated and then dried out or something. So yeah, that's not something I want to put on my eyes. Uh, I have this Dior, Dior Show Waterproof Mascara that I think I bought in like spring of 2020. Uh, I was gonna do a video following Alison Roman's makeup look and then she got into a spat with Chrissy Teigen and I kind of scrapped that idea. So I did use this, but it's been, I think over a year at this point. I have this Color Science Total Eye uh, Renewal Therapy. So this expired in March of 2021, which isn't again, too bad. Uh, I actually have, I think a backup of this shade, which is like the original, it's like a, color corrector that you can use underneath makeup or if I just want a really natural eye. Okay, so I grabbed the one in my bathroom, which is <laughs> which is good through at least February of 2022. So this is the Fair Shade. And just to show you the color difference, uh, they released the Fair Shade later. And as you can tell on my skin tone, that is a much better color for me, especially if I'm not wearing any concealer on top. So uh, I already have another backup of this. So because this is expired, might as well get rid of it. Okay, so this is the old packaging of the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer, which I didn't realize I actually tried this product, I think when I ordered like the current packaging not too long ago. Uh, but yeah, this is just in the shade light. So I don't know if this came in like a QVC kit from, uh, who knows how long ago, but yeah. I definitely have a fresh one. The packaging has been changed. Multiple reasons to get rid of that. Uh, 
This I tried, I think for the uh, Ocasio-Cortez video that I did, and I just didn't like this mascara. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Uh, another Becca product that I don't really have a reason to hold on to. I'm kind of like selecting what's gonna be the most painful to, <laughs> to toss. Uh, I guess this is just a really old Clinique blush. I think this was a gift with purchase. This is in the shade Iced Lotus. So, don't need that. Okay, so this is one of those Real Techniques brushes. Like, I'll show you in a minute here, the NARS packaging. I remember uh, Lauren May Beauty was just talking about this in a video of like packaging she hates, I think, where Something about this like soft touch formula, it gets like sticky and then like fuzz and little hairs and dust and everything just sticks to it. So it just becomes really gross. Uh, so that happened with the end of this handle. This is like a little, you know, brow lash comb type thing. And uh, I've gotten other ones, so I don't need to hold on to that. Okay, since we just talked about this, this is the NARS blush in the shade Gaiety, which I just got a new one through BoxyCharm. It was the uh, choice, I think, for April, maybe. Uh, so I can get rid of that. Painful though it is to throw away a NARS blush. Okay, so these, uh, as you can tell, I definitely used and loved may be a strong word, but this was before I I guess had fully embraced bronzer as a makeup item. And I remember Ruth Crilly talking about these. These are from The Body Shop. They are the, uh, it just says bronzing powder shade fair matte 02. And this is light matte. Fair is usually lighter than light, but anyway. Uh, so, you know. I'm using other bronzers now and they're not anything that pretty to look at. So I think I got my money's worth out of those. Okay, so this is a NYX cream blush and I just think this is old. It's in the shade T-Rose. Let's see, another NYX cream blush. This is in the shade Glow, is that right? Probably. Uh, so they don't look that gross, but with all the cream blushes that have come out recently, I don't need to hold on to that. Uh, this is a little liner sample from It Cosmetics. And of course, now that I swatched again, eh, there might be some life in it. When I was swatching it the other day, it looked pretty dried out. So I'll Put that to the side. Okay, so maybe I'll just kind of dump everything else. Uh, where to begin? Okay, so Kat Von D liquid lipstick. This is old. Uh, let's see, I think Bare Minerals, this is more of that kind of soft touch packaging. And these, I think, have been discontinued as well. So it was a good formula, but they've replaced it, I guess. So this is the Promise, uh, and the shades are Aspire and Vow. This one is The Truth, and the shades are Serendipitous, Magnetism, Fate, and Apropos. Oops, they have these little sponge tip applicators as well. Uh, again, this one you can see, I tried to like clean it up using some rubbing alcohol and it took off the name and everything. Uh, it got rid of the stickiness and now it's, I don't know, smooth and weird. Uh, this is the Epiphany and the shades are Aha and Foreshadow. It just feels gross. Final one here is the Nick of Time and the shades are Chance and Kismet. Another little Kat Von D liquid uh, lipstick that is old. Some of these I've had in a bin so long, I don't even remember why I need to get rid of them. Uh, this is the Becca Under Eye Brightener. Um, I think it's it smells kind of off and again, I'm not really using it, so I'll 
get rid of that. Okay, so this Maybelline uh, lipstick in Vivid Rose. It's, it might be okay. It has these like weird, hopefully you can see that. I think it might just be like the, the waxes or whatever kind of separating, but it uh, doesn't look very appealing and I'm not really using it. Uh, this uh, Josie Marin product does have, I think, I mean, it expires now, basically, 0521. So maybe I'll put this in my bathroom and just give it one kind of last hurrah. I can probably use that up in one, one use. Uh, I used to have this product. This is the SBF 47 Daily Moisturizer. I think this is a pure mineral-based, yeah. So maybe I'll save that and just use it. <laughs> not waste makeup. Uh, this is the Benefit Fake Up in the shade 01 Light. I think they've renamed this product. There's hardly anything left. I think I had this in like my work makeup bag. Uh, but again, they've, they've renamed it. I remember where I was when I was using it and it's been a couple years. So that I can get rid of. Uh, this I think probably just wound up in here when I moved and whatever. Uh, there's the TARDIS mascara. I'm not sure exactly when I opened this, but I think it's old, so I'm gonna toss that. All right, this MAC lipstick. This is Viva Glam 5, and it looks like frosted, which is not something I wanna put on my lids. Maybe I should look into Back to MAC for this because from what I understand, you can mail things in now, so I might I might look into that. I think Jamie Page just did a video not too long ago. So these little Tarte lipsticks, uh, I think this was part of a holiday set. And again, these have that kind of frosted, weird look to them. So these are going in the trash. Uh, this, why did I put this in here? I'm not sure, I might put this to the side. Some of this might have been kind of mixed in. Uh, this is the Urban Decay, was this called Revolution lipstick? Uh, I think the lipstick that they came out with before their current lipstick, and this one again does not look good, so we will toss that. Have a bunch of these uh, Bite lip pencils and these uh, again I think were part of a holiday set they have that same kind of uncomfortable soft touch feel to them the actual product no obvious issues but um, no real scent either but bite um, is like a more natural makeup line and so I don't think they put as many preservatives and that sort of thing in their products so I'll get rid of those yeah, this Ofra lipstick, I think this was an error in the packaging process where somehow the product, I think there's like an inner tube and an outer tube and the outer, the product got into the outer tube. Uh, this is in Laguna Beach. I don't know, it just doesn't look very nice. Let's get rid of that. All right, so this is the Estee Edit Flash Photo Gloss um, and they no longer make this whole line of products so again wasn't really using it and it's been discontinued did I use this it feels like I pretty much used this and it probably should have gone into an empty this is the uh, Peter Thomas Roth mega rich shampoo and I guess this is the conditioner it feels like I used the shampoo but not the conditioner I might throw that in my shower and just see if I can kind of use it up. Uh, the Stila, what is it called? Lip Glaze. Uh, it has just like that weird brush reusable applicator. I think this was a really sticky formula if I recall. So uh, another little Estee Edit sample. I think this product has been discontinued. This is the Stila Stay All Day 10 in 1 HD Beauty Balm. I think some of these products were just like half used or something when I moved and they ended up in here, but I know some of them are like old. 
probably should be tossed anyway. Uh, this is the Clarins Moisture Replenishing Lip Balm. I remember I bought this because uh, Nipita Leong, no, Lupita Nyong'o. Uh, I think she showed this was in her like Oscar bag. Uh, and so, I don't know, I went out and bought it. Uh, it's old and I think I used it once not too long ago and it just didn't really smell or taste great. I don't know, this is a random Laura Mercier gloss. I'm not sure why this is in here. That's a hair. Uh, this I'm pretty sure is like completely dead. This is the Marc Jacobs Fine Liner, I think it's called, uh, in lacquer. And uh, yeah, th this one is just like crumbly and uh, I don't think I ever loved this even when it was new. I'm not a big black liner person, so that's like dried out. Okay, so here's another MAC product. So maybe I'll slowly kind of build my back to MAC. This feels really, kind of, yeah, this is like dried out. Uh, this is a lip liner in the shade Morning Coffee. I don't know if you can return lip liners because you kind of like use up the product. But I'll put that off to the side just in case. This is the uh, Dr. Jart BB Beauty Balm and this has an expiration date because it has um, an SPF rating. Uh, this expired in 2019 possibly. <laughs> uh, I wasn't too kind of concerned about it because A, I don't rely on makeup products for my sunscreen and B, it's a mineral sunscreen, so I'm a little bit more concerned about chemical sunscreens expiring, which I don't tend to use anyway, uh, but it's old at this point, so I just need to get rid of it. Yeah, this doesn't really smell good, so I'll get rid of this. This is the uh, Dr. Bronner's Naked Organic Lip Balm. Uh, let's see, there's this e.l.f. matte lip color. I'm not sure why this ended up in here. It doesn't really smell like anything. Okay, so this expired in 2017. So this never made it into the trash, but it will now. Are there any other obvious expiration dates? Probably not. Okay, so this has an expiration date for whatever reason. This is the Nia Kio? Ni Nikeo. Nikeo. Uh, this expired in June of 2020. This is like a, I don't know, just facial oil or something. So I don't know, I'll get rid of that. I don't know why this random shoe wipe is in here. Okay, so this I guess just needs to go in the trash. I think, how does this go on? Maybe this is okay, I thought it was broken but it seems to fit on there. Since it's a tool, it doesn't really expire. It can just break. So I'll just put that off to the side. This in shower styler, I think my uh, shower items might've just ended up in this box when I moved. And now they're seeing the light of day. There's this old, I think this is the Clinique. I think it's just old and I'm not using it. So I'll throw that away. Um, some of these I'm a little torn on. Like I should probably toss this Tarte product. I've made pretty good dent in it and I think I might have a backup. So I'm not really using it right now. So I should probably just get rid of it. Let's see, a couple of these Inglot. I think these are actually like lipsticks in a pan. I think these were samples and I'm not sure if these are magnetic. You would think they're somehow, I don't know. Uh, but I'll just, I'll get rid of these. Don't need them. Okay, let's give this a whiff, shall we? Oh, it's sealed. Okay. Well, maybe I can like donate that or something. I don't think it'd be bad. Okay, get rid of that. Um, Let's try this Urban Decay. This is the pencil in perversion since I'm like trying out all these. Eh. It's probably seen better days. 
it's not really giving I, it's hard to see in that like sea of sea of black liners okay I think this one should be tossed okay so I don't think you'll be able to see on camera but this has like very tiny little dots on it I don't know if that's going to pick up so uh, this is a little I think lip pencil from nude stick so I'll toss that uh, this is a bite uh, lip product yeah this one definitely has that kind of weird frosty effect to it which is a little hard to see unless you kind of really get in there but I will toss that okay this NYX butter gloss in the shade apple strudel it's probably fine um, no obvious issues with it but I'm not sure how old this is um, I mean the fact is my lip drawer is pretty full at the moment anyway so I, I think I need to be a little ruthless um, this Cora's lip butter glaze My foot's starting to fall asleep here. These are probably old. Um, let's see. Yeah, this Clarins Lip Perfector. I can probably look up when I bought some of these. Um, this one, it just kind of looks gunky, so I'll get rid of that. Uh, this, oh, what is this called? Pixie Nourishing Lip Polish. This one has like little kind of silicone-y rubbery bits to it. I think this was just kind of hard to keep clean, so I'll get rid of that. This Cow Shed Natural Lip Balm. Again, I don't remember anything obviously wrong with it, but if something has lived in a box for a while and you haven't missed it, you probably don't need it. Saying that, I mean, all of these are probably past their, like, You've had this open for however long. <sighs> I guess I'll get rid of that. Same with this Clinique Pep Start eye cream. Just get rid of that. Um, this Hourglass number 28 primer serum sample. I think this one was just kind of old and goopy and I wasn't really using it. Uh, and this... Um, by Terry Balm de Rose sample. Still smells okay. Um, part of the problem, I think it's like a really small little sample to kind of get your finger in. Get rid of that. This hair product, probably just toss. I haven't been using it. Uh, and I guess I'll just go ahead and toss these too, just to make it nice and simple. Okay. Uh, so this is a little um, Tarte foundation sample that I held on to. I mean, we know at this point it's been like a year at least because I haven't been going into Sephora asking for samples. Uh, this was of the Tarte Found Sealer. So I can always get another sample. I guess I'll chuck this e.l.f. product as well. And then this is one product that I'm a little reluctant to part with. Um, this was an old Bite Beauty product. So again, it's like a more natural product. This is the Luminous Lip Library, and and we'll see if this is a science experiment. Not really. I want to hold on to it because, um, so my name is Beth. So it starts with a B, and I just, something about this just, I don't know. I just like looking at it. Not that I look at it that often. Like, I know that I should get rid of this, but no obvious kind of things going on with it. So, yeah, that might be my... I guess I could save just the box, I don't know. But, okay, so I might cave and hold on to that. But otherwise, I think I did a pretty good job of getting rid of stuff, so pat myself on the back there. Uh, so I hope you guys found this trip down memory lane with me helpful. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you guys are all staying very safe and healthy out there, and I will talk to you soon.